Scott. Hey. 60. It's a bad boy. Welcome back guys. Today we are cruising the Outback XT Limited and I'm going to go over why the XT models are really the only models that you should be looking at if you want something with performance. Let's see what it's got. Hey! 60. It's a bad boy. So you are definitely not going to get pickup like that in the normal Outback. Like the XT model is the only thing that is going to drive like that. And that is why, number one reason, I would choose the XT. that all-wheel drive grip through that turn the normal Outback everyone knows it's pretty sluggish so it's really hard to see on the screen here I'm gonna start by turning off vehicle dynamics control and really just want to see how this vehicle you know behaves Kind of just started to beeline there when you got it. Obviously, this thing isn't gonna, you know, do a four wheel burnout, but it has plenty of power. So, if we're cruising in manual mode right now, paddle shifters are on the steering wheel and they turn with the wheel, which is a little annoying. I like my paddles centered on the column so they never move that's just how my all my infinities have been so really if we're just kind of you know want to see what this is like traction control off you know a little bit of lag and then the turbo kicks in there we go 60 not bad and this bad boy really grips well especially for the amount of ground clearance it has, 8.7 inches. This model definitely comes alive with this engine. I always thought the Outback were too slow, Forester's were too slow. Forester XT was maybe the one, the older one that had the FA20 with the turbo. That one, a little bit better. Gonna give it the beans. There it goes. invigorating in this model. The, the XT just kind of has that extra energy that I think is actually necessary for a vehicle of this caliber. And you know, there's, you know, you can get the XT Onyx edition, which everything is blacked out. And it has the StarTech interior. So everything is kind of like, you know, that waterproof kind of jet ski boat feel inside the interior. And honestly, if you have a normal Outback, you know it's not very exciting to drive around. And to have this kind of vehicle and be able to just kind of like get into it a little bit, whoo, pulls you back. Yeah. That's way more fun. Especially if you're coming from a vehicle that has, you know, I don't know, like a Grand Cherokee that has like the Hemi or something and you're jumping into a vehicle like this. This vehicle will kind of check the boxes for you as far as performance. It's not an 8-speed transmission, you know, by, by any means. So when you have it in manual mode, it kind of mimics 
you know, like if you're geared, you can get in it, turbo's on. You don't really feel the downshifting. It's not, you know, high compression vehicle. So don't count on that much if you're trying to have a lot of fun with that. But overall, this interior is beautiful. The display, you know, comes in just under 12 inches and it's also a great display, except when you have this plastic on here, you can't really see it. It's super glared out right now. But this is a really comfortable vehicle. You know, you got your heated wheel, heated seats. Of course, it's equipped with EyeSight, which is the safety features. You've got your active lane control that you can use when you're on the highway with cruise control. And of course, you know, its own kind of radar distance sensing and everything. It's all, it's all, it's got all the same features. The main reason you get it though, is this engine. This, this engine and this turbo are awesome. They really, really do bring this car to life. See what I mean? Just, it's just way better than the base premium Outbacks. You can just drive it and have a lot more fun with this kind of vehicle. It actually lifted up. It's it's got a little squat on it. So handling is really good. It's super nimble. Especially when accelerating. It's just, this thing is awesome. They did a great job with this platform. And this is the new Subaru Global Platform and hopefully it proves promising when we move over to that new STI, new WRX, and I really feel like this engine is gonna do it. It's really gonna make some magic happen next year, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Let's give it a little more fun here. See, just look at it go. That's, you do not get that in the base premium models. This is, this is such, such a needed upgrade for this vehicle and I really hope more people check it out and if you're considering the Outback get the XT I don't care if it's the Touring the Limited or the Onyx you know pick your flavor don't cheap out on it the motor is completely worth it so thanks again for joining me y'all Outback XT check one out test drive it pick one up you're gonna love it the power is exceptional and a much needed upgrade and if you enjoy this content please subscribe down below like this video and leave me a comment i'll get back at you guys soon i've got more subaru and infinity content on the way and i'm gonna be trying some new things with the channel also hope you guys have a fantastic week and i will catch you next time